Hey guys, how are you? I hope you all are doing good and welcome back to our channel Pixel Roms. And today I am back with uh, a brand new video. And uh, in this video, we will be reviewing out the first stable Android 12 large custom ROM for our Redmi Note 11. As you can see here, I am holding the Redmi Note 11 in my hand and it is working on Cherish OS. Uh, its version is 3.7.5 and it is based on Android 12 large and it is working without any issues and uh, in this video i will show you how you can install it on your redmi note 11 and i will also uh, review it out so without any further ado let's get started So this ROM is pretty much stable, everything is just working fine as you can see here. Fingerprint is also working pretty much awesome and quickly and the ROM is pretty much stable and uh, of course the 90 hz refresh rate is also working. You can check it out in the display, you can scroll down and from here uh, you can set the minimum refresh rate and even the maximum refresh rate and you can also set the refresh rate on low power mode. So this is a very good feature of this ROM and uh, the app opening speed is also very good and in the camera we just have uh, this simple camera uh, installed in this ROM but don't worry you can install any version of Gcam and Gcam Go and uh, the other applications are also working pretty much fine the ROM is pretty much clean and it doesn't have a lot of junky applications as you can see here and if you want uh, to install any application you just have to go into the play store and download it out a part of this uh, the performance of this ROM is pretty much awesome gaming performance is also pretty awesome and from the left you can get the Google News and uh, in the home settings we have this pixel launcher with some basic settings and uh, you can adjust the widgets and add a lot of more widgets after it we have the wallpapers and style in the wallpaper we only add this wallpaper we installed uh, but we get the google wallpaper application that means you can get a lot of wallpapers from the uh, living universe and also you can get the still wallpapers and then you can change the wallpaper color you can also get the basic colors you can enable the dark theme and you can also enable the themed icon you can change the application grid this token grid is working pretty much cool on this big 90 hertz refresh rate of our redmi note 11 now let's dig into the settings uh, in the setting first of all we have the owner uh, banner right here from here you can search any uh, settings and in the quick settings we have a lot of options you can just simply edit them out you can add or, or remove uh, some shortcuts right from here you can get the power options and you can enter the settings right from here after it we have uh, Wi-Fi and network in the settings connected devices cherish settings in the cherish settings we have all available customizations first of all we have the customizations for status bar from here you can enable or disable the double tap to wake you can enable the traffic indicators which is right here and uh, you can also change the clock style date uh, clock and date style you can enable the 4g icons and other icons you can even change the battery icon right from here you can also modify the battery percentage and you can also edit the status bar icons after it we have the quick setting settings then we have themes from here you can change the layout uh, to oc oxygen os 11 12 cherish cherish clean let's try this one click on ok and uh, it just works pretty much cool and it just looks awesome as you can see here clean and uh, attractive in the themes we have other options like settings user card use black theme uh, clear all notification button and other settings you, like you can change the headline body font style you can change the app icon you can change the icon shapes right from here signal icon style and wi-fi icon styles also are available right here then we have the button settings from here you can manage the navigation bar buttons and other your physical buttons right from here and they are working pretty much cool after it we have the animations lock screen in the lock screen we have double tap to sleep double tap to wake and uh, and then we have pools and media cover art etc after it we have power menu right here you can enable or disable the advanced reboot options right from here and you can also enable other icon uh, others options then we have notification and here we have in-call vibrations 
flashlight, blink and other applications right here. Then we have MISC. In the MISC we have charging animation and ignore window secure flags and we also have the gaming space right here which will be uh, useful if you are using this ROM for gaming and it just uh, it will just increase your gaming experience and uh, you can also get the higher FPS in games by enabling this feature and uh, after it you can read about this ROM in the display we have brightness level adaptive brightness live display lock screen screen timeout you can enable or disable the dark theme right from here after it you can change the font size display size small width and light or light is also available you can change its intensity and it is working without any issue here we have auto rotation maximum refresh rate uh, minimum refresh rate and low power refresh rate then we have screen saver and prevent accidental wake here we have a low window level bur blurs tap to wake wake on plug and you can also enable the display cutout and uh, after it we have styles and wallpaper applications from here you can access the old application to wild application you can enter the game space you can uh, access the assistant on screen time unused application and special app access then we have notification battery in the battery the battery performance of this room is just awesome from here you can change its thermal profile and uh, you can uh, get the battery usage adaptive preferences use pixel battery states provider and from here you can change it from here you can change the battery temperature design battery capacity current battery capacity and charge cycles completed and uh, after it we have storage sounds and vibration from here you can get a lot of sound and vibrations options right from here as you can see here then we have utilities in the utilities we have uh, new features in the android 12 here we have talkback text and uh, display you can also access the extra dim if you are using the device in a dark area or dark room then you can use this one at the night and uh, here we have a lot of other options and these options are really useful then we have security and lock screen in the security every single uh, security option is just working fine and here we also have the face lock right here and you can just enter it and uh, make it register and it will work fine let me show you as you can see here it is just working quickly and after it we have privacy location safety and emergency digital well-being google account system in the system we have languages and input live translate gestures in the gesture we have quick tap to start action and then we have quickly open camera system navigation bar one-handed mode very useful as you can see here you can access the whole phone uh, with only using one hand then we have press and hold power buttons swipe three fingers to screenshot double tap to check phone and it, it just works fine as you can see here it pretty much looks like always on display and prevent training and then we have date and time backup um, system update multiple users developer options and reset options and in the about phone you can check your android version which is android 12 large and uh, cherish os version is 3.7.5 and all the credits goes to uh, its developers and maintainers and uh, as you can see here this one is the pure android 12 large and the ROM is pretty stable there is no any single bug or issue in this ROM yes you can use this ROM for your daily driver and uh, it works pretty much cool and if you want to install this ROM on your Redmi Note 11 then just download the ROM from the link in the description and reboot your device into an installed custom recovery and if you have not installed RTWRP recovery yet on this device then you can watch this video from the i button and I will also provide the link in the description go and just install the TWRP recovery Till now the TWRP recovery is the most stable recovery for our Redmi Note 11 and uh, as soon as other recoveries get stable I will make video on them. Just go to wipe, click on format data, just simply format the data. After formatting data go back to home, click on reboot, click on recovery. The installing process is a little bit different from other phones. After going into the recovery again just go to install and uh, 
you you have to use the micro SD card because internal storage is encrypted in this recovery. And now you have to locate the downloaded Chalice OS version uh, 3.7.5. Just click on it and flash it right from here. After flashing the ROM, go back to home, click on advance, and just to flash the current recovery again to make it permanent on your device. If you reboot without installing the TWRP recovery again, and uh, uh, the ROM will be installed, but the recovery will be replaced with the custom ROMs recovery. And uh, we are doing this to make it uh, useful next time. So after flashing it, just click on reboot system. The ROM will be booted up in a few seconds. So hope you guys like this video. If you really did, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Keep supporting. Thanks for watching. Peace.